Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and uh, yeah I'm just going to kick this off with a little bit of simple TA, um, have a look at how we're going um, now that we've reached the end of the week, okay, um, some of these coins we've looked at they have moved, okay, Bydow being one of them so we'll start with Bydow, okay, we're also going to look at Core, Seavolt Finance, okay, and we're going to look at another one called R Fuel. that's real DeFi, alright but moving back to bid, Bydow okay in my previous videos i did expect buy down to go down a little bit further but it seems to have got a little bit of a trend reversal at the moment my main target was down at 1.8 cents uh, all the way down here like that almost did reach that target okay it reached about two cents all right but right now it's topping out at around three cents okay so it is struggling to break that level at the moment all right guys but not a bad way to end the week with a little bit of a trend reversal okay some upward movement we're actually looking at quite a decent percentage if you bought the bottom of that wick you would have potentially been able to make 47 percent just under 48 percent of a return on that if you bought and held down there at that low i did say before you know if you were buying in after the dip if we just draw that out you can see the dip that i was talking about i was talking about that dip right over there let's just change the color of that we're talking about this triangle here by that fell out of this triangle and what i said is you want to be scaling in that's how you buy the dips okay you buy a little bit on the dip okay it might bounce it might come back down a little bit further if you buy a little bit again and a little bit again and you do that on the way down that is dollar cost averaging in all right guys which helps you to get a better position overall all right, so now we've seen it reverse a little bit. So let's just get rid of this triangle, okay? It did look like it could be a bit of a falling wedge potentially, okay? And now it's broken out of that falling wedge, if that is the pattern, okay? I don't normally, if we see a big curl rolling over like that, I don't normally class it as a falling wedge because, you know, there's not as many touches on the bottom. You know, sometimes I prefer a sharper, for a you know a zigzaggy kind of bounce rather than a wibbly wobbly curly bounce down but um, yeah it has broken out at this level now one thing i did see on this is if we draw a couple of lines like that you can see it's potential rising wedge okay which is normally a bearish pattern okay but it is holding that level and if it can break out of this bullish then i reckon buy down has got a good chance of uh, coming up a lot further okay one thing you don't want to do is uh, assume that this is a valid uptrend overall because it might be on a shorter term time frame but if you look the previous high is over here all right so we need to see it take out this high over there and make a higher low and then another higher high in order to get out of this downtrend okay and if it can do that then there's a lot more upside for buy now okay so we've ended the week uh, personally i think you know it's ended the week uh, quite well ended the week um not in a you know a new low but rather you know it's it's at least taken out this high over here okay so we got a it's not a higher high over there but it's gone high we've got a higher low and then we've got a higher high at the moment okay but yeah like i said that's on a smaller time frame if it does fall through this uh rising wedge it's probably going to fall down and could potentially still hit that target okay so it's still a downtrend overall on a higher time frame but a small uptrend trending up and things could change pretty quickly especially if it does continue over the weekend all right guys and then into next week that will be a good sign probably might get some news next week okay they are putting out something at least once a week it does seem to to be the case at the moment so yeah let's wait and see if there's another exchange for example for buy down next week maybe another partnership We'll have to wait and see okay so moving on to core okay and if you watched my video yesterday we had this triangle okay uh this descending triangle i thought that we might get a breakout out of that also looked like a double bottom over here just draw draw that for you double bottom pattern over there all right uh, let's change the color of that so you can see 
I really don't like the fact that I can't save my charts on um, Chart X. Um, but you know, no point in complaining, is there? A lot of charts on Chart X that I can't find elsewhere. So we've got a double bottom over there. Okay, now it did break out of that level. Okay, so if you would have bought that breakout, you would have made a quick 28. 30% profit almost all right so that was a good trade I actually did get on on that okay very busy yesterday as well in and out of the house okay after it dumped at that level I actually did get out over here okay I'll tell you one of the reasons why as well because once it put this high in over here um, and, and this is the kind of thing that you have to do you have to constantly adjust patterns all right and my eyes normally pick these things up, all right? So I did actually pick this up yesterday. Sorry I couldn't get a video out for you guys to kind of show you, all right, guys? But I actually sold out of my position over here on that bounce, okay? I could have held it to go a bit higher, but that would have been dangerous ground, all right? But I actually did see an ascending triangle forming, okay, on the lower time frame, okay? So right there, we've got an ascending triangle which of course if you know anything about an ascending tri triangle it's a bearish pattern okay so i thought you know if this rolls over and then comes down and falls through that it's gonna it's got you know a little bit of downside to it okay but it actually did climb up a little bit but then we saw eventually it did fall through now if it would have broken bullish out of this triangle that would have been extremely bullish i'll tell you that much but um, yeah nine times out of ten it's gonna break downwards out of a pattern like that and it has okay came up to retest it could even still come up to retest and then get rejected for a bit more downside all right so that's what i'm looking at with core okay c vault dot finance if you don't know core have been talking about on the channel um you can go back and look at a few of my other videos about that but um yeah i mean so a little bit of bearish for the end uh, to end the week with core but at the end of the day there was a little bit of a turnaround but the whole market is following suit you know we've seen the same kind of thing you come down and then we get a little bit of a uh, price rise okay in fact let's just see if we can get an ascending triangle over here that could potentially be an ascending triangle for buy down all right guys so yeah just be aware uh, be aware of that all right um our fuel okay now real DeFi why i'm buying real DeFi at the moment okay you might not know about this one and it hasn't performed amazingly all right guys but it has broken out of this downtrend all right and now it's potentially heading up we can see that is an uptrend snaking up there like that all right guys but they have a main net coming in around two weeks all right so um obviously you know how it goes you know people you know they buy the test net they sell the main net so normally with a main net launch um you'll see a run okay um you get a bullish run up until the main net all right and then what you would be doing is you would be selling the uh the, at the main net all right i mean it's historically they dump at the main net all right guys so we'll have to see if we can get the run you know uh, like like what normally happens all right there's a few people that are into this one I actually saw a video uh, by cm top dog about this uh, yesterday okay and i decided to leave a comment on there because we were actually talking oh i actually pointed out this in my group in my own group on the 5th of october so i was happy to actually see a video about someone else talking about it uh, and see him top doc um, as well because you know he's quite good with these picks all right guys so that validated my pick on that as well all right guys unfortunately i didn't get into it before i just kind of signposted it in my group we didn't buy it all right we looked at it we didn't buy it but um, now I am buying in because obviously we've got a confirmed uptrend. Um, it would be better to take out this level, but you know, with the main net launch coming as well, I think it's a little bit safe to buy. All right, guys. If I was wrong about it and it does roll over, then you know it's not the not the end of the world. All right, um, and I won't be mad at myself because at the end of the day, I bought based on the fundamentals and based on the chart, uh, the price action. All right, so that's our fuel. Uh, Rio DeFi, quite a nice name, R Fuel, Rio Fuel. All right, but um, yeah, let's see if we can get a move upwards with that. And uh, something like that, I need to be in at the moment. Something that's just going to be trending upwards consistently. Um, something with um, you know a bit of news behind it, a main net coming or something. Because, like I've said before, I am going to be on holiday for the next five days. Well, not the next five days. After tomorrow, uh, the next five or six days. All right, so um, 
yeah, I will try and still get some videos out for you guys. Um, I might even do a live stream that might be easier for me. Maybe a couple of live streams. All right, let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer. All right, guys, I'm always interested to know, um, you know, what your thoughts are. You know, I'm here to, uh, you know, to, to entertain. I'm also here to uh, educate. All right, I'm not a financial advisor. That being said, you know, please do your own research when investing in cryptocurrencies and all that sort of stuff, you know, the sayings. All right, guys, but um, yeah, that's it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below. Also, get over onto Twitter and follow me over there at Crypto Lightsaber, C-R-Y-P-T-O-L-Y-T-S-A-B-E-R. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you would like to support the channel, there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself. We have a new clothing brand called Parabolic. This is a brand dedicated to the crypto space. I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now, there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time. And we're using a lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colors, range of different products, all right? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something, if you send me a message, what I'll do is I'll send you a free invite for the new Telegram group, which will be a paid Telegram group, okay, after that. Okay, so the first 100 people, you will get a invite sent to you for free, all right? Even if you buy something as small as a mug, you will get that, just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember the trend is your friend